The Rabbitohs are about to hit the road as they try to secure their spot in the top eight. And the first stop, the inform and full-strength Broncos. But the Bunnies have their own reinforcements, headbined by the return of Latrell Mitchell. Move over Taylor Swift, this is South Sydney's Aussie tour and they even have the merchandise to match. We've got five games on the road in uh, the next couple of weeks, so boys come up with this. They've got gigs on the Sunshine Coast, Tamworth, Perth and Cairns in coming weeks and like true rock stars are hoping to travel in style. I doubt we'll all, all be able to get business class to go to Perth, but I don't know, we'll We'll see if uh, Rusty can get us a private jet. The Rabbitohs are true road warriors, producing their best performances away from home. In fact, they haven't lost a match outside of New South Wales this year. It's always good um, being together with the boys. It just tightens the, tightens the group together a bit and you know, gets some, some memories made. And it will be the Bunnies' best team touring, with all their injured stars making a return this week, including Latrell Mitchell, Jai Arrow and Campbell Graham, as well as their Origin players to kick-start their charge towards finals footy. It's a good feeling to get those boys back in, and NRL is very important about timing your run, I think, and uh, hopefully we can you know, time it well now going into this last period. Danica Mason, Nine News. Cronulla coach Craig Fitzgibbon has made the biggest call of his coaching career, dropping veteran playmaker Matt Moylan after their thumping from the Warriors. Former Blues centre Sifa Talakai also in the firing line. He's been relegated to the bench for Sunday's match against Manly. He was impressive in Origin 3 and kicked the Eels to victory against the Titans. Mitchell Moses' next task will be guiding the Eels to the finals. And he'll have to do it without Regan Campbell-Gillard for the next four weeks after he pleaded guilty to a dangerous contact charge. It's hard to know if his time as a Blues general helped him in this moment, but as the Eels slide along on a finals tightrope, Mitchell Moses' origin experience will be a factor. Must be something you've, you've gained out of it. Yeah, a bit of confidence, I guess. Just, you know, seeing how everyone else prepares for games and things, things like that. Um, all those little things, take the little things out of that, out of the camp and, you know, implement that into my game. Something he can't take into the NRL, the shedding of the goal-kicking role. It was crucial for the Blues. Being the halfback, I think I just wanted to be in a bit more control after after we scored points, just being in a bit more control of the, of the group, I guess, coming back. So when you goal kick, you pretty much miss all that chat and what's going on. Even Moses' harshest critic would now concede his origin standard. Do you think it silences anyone who says you're not necessarily a big game player? Mate, they, people people are going to talk and, you know, they, that's... You know what I've learned probably the last year or so is just to not listen to any of it. You're learning. I guess so. It's taken me, taken me 10 so years. Brad Fittler has played a huge part in his development. Today, Moses hit out at those riding his rep coach. Do you think he's the man going forward? Yeah, he's outstanding. He's definitely the man. To see how much he's been getting crushed in the media, it's, it's a bit sad to see, but um, yeah, he's got my full support. Moses is focused on getting his team to the finals. They're facing a rough few weeks without Regan Campbell-Gillard. Reg hurts a lot. Um, it's pretty silly what he did, but you know he's hurting. Obviously, it's it's not like him. He's not he's not a dirty player. Danny Widler, Nine News.